All right, everybody. Been working down here in the Fox shop all afternoon. May not look like a whole lot done. I think I sh think I showed taking that out in the last video. This one over here, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. It may just stay. Um, it's it's attached to the wall over there and on the back and everything. But uh, I know I've had some some. Uh, audio issues with my phone here lately. I took I took the case off of it. We'll see if that helps. And I blew out the microphone and stuff. I don't know. Maybe it's a Samsung S21. So I did not very old, but uh, uh, seems to be causing some issues. But anyway, I want to get this moved yet today. And I didn't realize that I actually had <laughs> this thing is actually like leg screwed into the wall but got it all cleaned out got a lot of stuff out of here i know it just looks like a mess down here it is a mess down here a lot of this stuff is just going to stay got to get uh well i gotta get gotta get that out want to keep the door want to keep the heater of course the air compressor of course is going over to the other shop some of these shelves and stuff um I may get them down this gas pipe that runs up through there. Uh, the way I did it, I can't take the shelves off without getting that totally out of there. But, uh, and, and these, of course, I, I want to keep these. These are the, uh, these are the original valve covers off of the green truck that I use for shop lights. I actually need to put different lighting in them. And, but it, I don't even turn them on anymore because it's just a mess up here. I'm afraid there's water in the, electric and that kind of thing. I actually don't come in here hardly at all. Right, Jess? We don't we don't come in here hardly ever. It's just uh it's just gross down here. But I'll show you what I've been doing. I got uh well I took I got the YouTube sign down. What else did I take? Oh I took the uh the whiteboard down. Gotta get some of this stuff out of here. I got I got some trim off of uh, the green truck. I think the rest of it is all taped up over there in the corner. I don't think you can see it, but um, finding a little bit more. I got some ramps and that thing and just, just miscellaneous stuff. Get it out of here. You got to get uh, saw horses out of here, the go-kart out of here. I don't know if I'm going to keep all the hoods and everything. Probably, probably keep the original green tailgate off of uh, the green truck and maybe the hood I don't I don't oh, know some of these boards yeah I want to keep and if I have time before we tear the barn down some of this exterior plywood I'd like to get down um, these boards I wouldn't mind keeping those there's a bunch inside the barn there I wouldn't mind keeping but anyway it's a hot day here today in central Iowa it's it's almost 90 degrees not much wind i was going to mow the yard today and i decided i'm going to work on work on getting things out of the shop i saw that my dad and my uncle were out spraying today he's he's been out here driven by a couple times and with his ranger driving through the field i saw him but i've been moving stuff over to over to the old new shop We'll walk over here. This is the Quonset building over here. It used to store green in that a long time ago. I can I can kind of remember it as a kid. Store green in this thing. But we'd have somebody else haul it out for us. Probably picking up some wind noise. We'd have somebody else haul it out for us. You'd have to, all these things over here would, would stretch across the sides and uh just hold everything together we got the auger system up in the top which a couple of the lids have blown off but uh then have somebody else haul that out but here's the, the the workbench on wheels that i actually made to i actually made that when i took the uh took the bed off the green truck got an old international blade here I'm, been trying to sell that thing I I don't know it's, I don't exactly know what it goes on but this old ladder old auger with a 
the hell do we got here? An old Wisconsin, I think it's 20 horse. I think it says somewhere. I don't know. Probably doesn't run anymore, but I think that's how they used to unload it out of here and some snow fence and bulkheads and air tubing that uh, when my dad built his big building and my uncle did his too, that's, you know, they used those in there. They, they stored corn in there. It was, anyway, not going into that, but um, old international, old international uh, baler here. Still got some, still got some straw in it. I don't remember what model this is. I think it probably says somewhere, I, from what I looked up, I don't think these things ever worked good when they were brand new. I don't know. Anyway, it's sitting here, but there's a, the YouTube sign that I made and the, the whiteboard. She's sitting there. Won't be there too long, I hope. And the workbench. Brought that over here and then been moving things over. It's been a long afternoon. I'm hot. You can see the east side of the barn here. It's not... Well, maybe you can, but it's it's not it's not in very good shape. I mean, the, the, the whole barn is just. I know people say save the barn and everything, and I agree. I hate to see. Let's get this down to. Let me get this down to one. What point nine one? Okay. I hate to see these old barns go down. I really do because they just they don't make them anymore. But you know, everything everything has a. Has a limit. There's a song on that. I think I, I don't know. When Duracells and a Maglite, just everything wears out after a while. But anyhow, corn's growing. Need to get the yard mode. Probably gonna do that tomorrow. It's supposed to be even hotter tomorrow. I think we're supposed to have a heat index of like 104 or something the next couple of days. Need to get uh, need to get the pool set up, but. Well, today would have been a, a great day to do it, but I think I need to get a couple new tarps to put underneath of it, and uh, it's going to be kind of breezy the next couple days. But anyway, over here, well, on the trailer, I've just got I got some welding wire and stuff from the, the other shop I need to bring over. I've been bringing stuff over. Kind of looks like it used to. All these old things up here. Which all this stuff's gonna have to be moved because I want to insulate this and put sheathing up and all that kind of stuff. That needs to be blocked off because that's a chimney that goes up and it pulls cold air in there. But uh, summertime doesn't really matter. Thinking about tomorrow, I think I might go get a window at uh, at Menards and they have the size that I need. And just test fit it up in there. Just, just get one and see how it's going to go. Um, I got two by fours around here. We're going to have to redo the bottom and bottom, top. You now these sides probably have to get get some little things like this. But anyway, yeah. Just Bud's been hanging out with me all day. Jody's up in the house. She's she's getting a knee replacement here pretty soon. She's not. Not feeling the greatest, but uh, we'll find out Friday what's gonna what's gonna happen. But she'll get fixed up soon. So anyway, yeah. Well, well right now it says that it's 80, but holy cow, it feels like it's about 110 out. If you do anything, the humidity's up pretty high and just just rotten. But anyway, guys, that's what I'm up to. I just thought I'd put something up there for you. Well, I see Jesse Dog. Jesse Dog's. Heading over this way, I guess. Yeah, we'll slow that back down. My daughter got married yesterday, my oldest daughter. So congratulations to her. Beautiful wedding, and she looked she she looked amazing. But uh, anyway, guys, trying to get things trying to get things moved around. I know it seems kind of backwards. Uh, just I gotta get things out of the barn over there. So. You know, when they're when they're ready to tear it down, we can say, "Okay, come do it." And I'm gonna make it. 
I'm going to make a video on that, at least one, maybe two or three. I, I don't know how long it's going to take to do it, but uh, tearing the old shop down, the barn down and everything. And, uh, well, the old chicken house there, it's, it's going to go bye-bye as well. So, anyway, I hope the, hope the audio on this is a little bit better. And this, holy cow, here I am going again. This is going way too long. I wish I had an ice cream bar right now. I just told Jody, it's like, can you bring me down an ice cream bar? And she said, I don't think we have any, do we? And I'm like, no. Just remind me to get some tomorrow. But anyway, I'm just I'm just blabbering on here. But tomorrow I've got to mow the yard and uh, get things done. done. We're going to get going on the Hungry Fox, the cooking channel. Um, and if Jody can't do it with me, I'll, I'll do it alone. I want to start cooking outside on a nice day like this actually but uh we weren't really prepared for that so now we're doing a, i think we're actually having salad tonight because it's just oh it's hot, hot. but uh got the tv moved got the radio moved i thought maybe i could get the internet on the tv down here but i can't but i can tether it off my phone although i i make all the i make all the phone company up in town and see if they can give me some internet down here I don't know I'm not sure what that would cost but anyhow guys just giving you a quick little update we're, we're getting we're, we're getting her put together right bud slowly but surely and then it's gonna have to come apart again and get everything but that's the way it goes that's just what I gotta do right now so hope you're all having a great night and we will catch you next time bye bye